we chose Crystal's um, My Old Slash New York Changing Times photo. We're gonna, we like, we like the comparison between the old train picture and the new train picture. We like that she edited the first one to be black and white because it makes it seem like the photo was taken a long time ago. And then it also brings up the question of why did she edit it? Even without black and white, people who take the train a lot. Um, like they, yeah, they already know that it's an older train type yeah. of thing. But I think it serves more to emphasize um, the fact that like we are losing these type of trains because they're being um, like replaced with newer high-tech trains like the second picture and especially in the second picture you can see like the screen with the time on and everything and we didn't like those things more in the old train and it questions whether or not crystal believes that the newer trains are better than the older trains because there is an emphasis on the newer technology with the with the picture of the newer train but with the older train she has captioned it old times when it only costs a dollar for the train so it's kind of interesting to see that there are pros and cons to each of the, to the photos. And also like looking at the space, like the newer trains seem like they have a lot more space in them because of the setup. Like the older trains, there were chairs facing in different directions, and the newer trains it's like completely empty in the middle. What do you guys think about how there's, the trains are completely empty? She might have did that to put more focus on the actual train instead of being distracted by it. People. The whole picture makes you feel like um, it's more closed in, especially from where she was sitting, and the new train seems more opened up. Um, it's the same angle, but the second one's more tilted. That's a good point about how the second train seems more opened up, and that kind of gives more emphasis to why she picked an empty train. I would distract from the picture if she had people in it. Um, it would take away from like the structure and architecture of the trains and the contrast that she wanted to bring out. This next photo is My Unique New York by Roxana and the title of it is The Little Things in Life. Um, we really think that it fits with her theme of unique New York because it's pretty crazy that they're feeding a squirrel in New York City. Squirrels are usually vicious in New York City from my experience. It is, and then in the suburbs where I grew up, they don't come near people at all. So it, it definitely emphasizes the idea of unique New York. And also, people in New York, people, people usually don't stop to pay attention to the little things place. like squirrels. Yeah, the yeah. little things, exactly. But these people did, so they were unique. And I love how um, the food that they're holding for the squirrel looks like a heart. And I think that really fits with the whole theme of um, like them smiling, the little things, yeah. yeah, the little things, um, them smiling and being happy and enjoying a moment together. And I like that she put in a border because it kind of helped me think in like the perspective of borders and how, although probably unintentional, the arms of the people kind of make the shape of a heart. And I thought that was cute. It's <laughs> like the food. Yeah. So everything about this photo is just like a bunch of happiness. Like they're both smiling. The squirrel doesn't really look like it cares, but yeah, like the squirrel is kind of looking away. Like it's not interested in the food, but it doesn't really matter because the two of them are like the main focus, and they're both enjoying that moment together. This last photo is Deanna Martinez's An Era Reminder and is captioned taken from the airplane window. We found Deanna's whole thing really touching with the whole 9-11 and the never forgetting thing, but this picture really captivated our interest. The shadow of the plane about to hit portrayed a really spooky and eerie feel. I think it's kind of neat how the shadow of the plane also is a, it looks like it's about to crash and the fact that there are two rows kind of, re roads kind of represents the Twin Towers. And adding to that, the shadows in the background are dark and scary, but this also um, amplifies the contrast because the ground that the plane is on is really light compared to the shadow of the plane. So 
kind of adds to the whole spooky. Um, it's like an area of nothingness that's really like barren and desolate. Um, it's kind of like how the side of the plane just wipes out everything that's in its path. Yeah, and adding to like spookiness, you also conveys it through like the the shadow of the plane's really small, but you can see the jet of the airplane, so you know the actual size of the plane. And it kind of reflects how whenever you see a plane in the sky, it can seem really small, but you know that in actuality it can do a lot of damage. And no matter where we are, because the pandemic has had such a huge impact on all of us, even our generation, we were so young when it happened. Like we always associate planes and their destination with like what happened in 9-11 since we were kind of scarred by it. Take me back to the start